Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of our podcast, Subject Matters. We're your host, Cameron. And Shana. Today we'll be talking about pineapple on pizza, the Big Bang Theory, and if Wyoming is real, and plenty of more. At the end of every podcast, we will be catching up with the law alumni. Later, we're interviewing 2018 senior class president, Jordan Beck. Our first topic we had written down was pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Um, how do you feel about it? I don't like it. I feel like the juices of the pineapple mixed with the sauce of the pizza makes for like really bad flavor, especially with like the cheese also. Um, I'm personally not against it. I've gotten a lot of arguments on Ew. this. <laughs> but Do you have it with pineapple know. and ham? I think I've had it once with pineapple and ham. Ew. That's called Hawaiian pizza. That's Gross. not just pineapple and ham. Hawaiian? But... Like, you can only get it in Hawaii? Absolutely, yeah. I had to go to Hawaii for that pizza. You did? How yeah. was it? Um, underwater? I don't know. Well, that's our opinion. <laughs> Pineapple on pizza. Bad. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> this is gonna go on for like 30 minutes. Oh man, the first episode's scary. Okay. Well, I guess we set our opinions on that, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory. Good. I don't like the Big Bang Theory. Why? It seems like super cheesy and I don't know. Yeah, like, but doesn't that really, make it kind of funny? I don't really enjoy too much laugh track in. Well, laugh. Have you seen? Have you ever seen the YouTube video that's the Big Bang Theory without the laugh track? Yeah, it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, I don't no, like. I don't like telling us when to laugh. Yeah, that seems weird, you know, and especially when it's not a very funny joke, it's kind of just a remark, like, a lot it's of like, people... It's like, hey, Penny. You... <laughs> hey, Penny. <laughs> like, even if you go to a live show, no one laughs that much. <laughs> like, a live show of anything. Like, it could be a comedian, and then, like, some of their jokes just don't get it, and it's fine. Like It's like, it's like the Big Bang Theory's, like, stand-up, where some people laugh, except it's filled with everybody laughing every single time it's a joke. <laughs> Everyone laughs every single time, that's it. Miss Locke shows um, a Big Bang Theory video in her AP Stat class. We watched it, what? and I don't know, it was it was kind of weird. It was like them on a train, and they were trying to like woo this girl. I don't remember what relation it had to AP Stat. It's just <laughs> or, like the or, Big Bang Theory. Or if we just watched it. That seems... I feel like why? How would stat relate to AP? I don't. I don't remember. Stat. I watched the video again recently. Stat. What? Sorry, my bad. I just mixed up my words. What do you say? I said, well, "How does stat relate to stat?" How does stat relate to stat? <laughs> I was trying not to point it out. <laughs> um, or. Or. <laughs> Should I tell that story? <laughs> sure. Okay. I, I hope I won't say the teacher's name. There was this one time where I was in a class. I won't say the class, but maybe it was a history class. And the teacher was talking, and he goes, he's talking, and he's like, blah 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 blah, or and his voice cracks, <laughs> and it was so funny. Oh man, I had some things to tell you about, but I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> he just lost him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I was waiting for you to show up here, you, like, texted, I'm on my way now, and I'm like, oh, cool, or whatever I said. And then I'm waiting here, and I'm like, God, it's been forever. Is she here yet? And I checked my phone, and it was three minutes after you <laughs> three texted me. <laughs> wow. Time just doesn't move in this room. I know. It was so boring. I've been here for two hours, almost. No, like, one and a half hour. One and a half hour. Yeah. What's next on our list? I just saw this on your list. This is a topic I'm excited for. Do you eat your cereal dry or with milk? Well, who eats their cereal dry? Me. Why? Because I don't like when my cereal gets all soggy. Yeah, but you'd rather have it cut up your mouth? It doesn't cut up your mouth. What cereal Okay, Shayna has a problem with that I eat 
uh, frosted really mini wheats really. dry. That's an issue. Like, I don't know how you haven't choked. Frosted mini wheats are the <laughs> driest. That's like the salty. Yeah, but cereal. you have like saliva in your mouth that I, like that breaks much. it up. <laughs> what? It's not like a river in your mouth? <laughs> Ew. It's gross. No, Ew. I. <laughs> I eat all my cereal dry. That seems weird to me. Like, I don't. I don't have the capability. Do you yet. ever like, eat cereal it's, dry? It's all about texture. Not really. I think like when I was like 11, I would eat like Crave. But like <laughs> Crave was out when we were 11? I believe so. I thought it was a newer cereal. Yeah. I mean like That was 7 years ago. <laughs> yeah, 7 years ago is pretty new considering cereal. Like Bran Flakes has been around for like a thousand years. <laughs> well, I don't ever see Sugar Crisp around anymore. I don't think I've ever seen that. Do you know what Sugar Crisp is? No. With the sugar bear? Do you want to look that up? Because I have yeah, no idea. I love it. I've it, never it heard it's of this that. um, it's this bear named Sugar Bear, and uh, there's a granny, and she likes Sugar Crisp, and she's like, I can't let Sugar Bear get any of my Sugar Crisp, and Sugar <laughs> Bear is like walking up, and he's like. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. And I then, hate that, but... And, and, like, she'll, like, she'll do something, like, put up, like, a wall, like, a brick wall in front of her sugar crisp, and then Sugar Bear will just, like, break down the wall. That sounds it's like so a really weird. violent version of, uh, the... What's it called? The Lucky Charms kids? Yeah, it's like, it's like Lucky Charms, except the kids are Sugar Bear, and Lucky <laughs> is Granny. Here, I think I sent you this, like, a long time ago. Like, I mean, like, a month ago or something, not a long time ago. I don't remember that. Here, wait. Um, here, keep talking while I'm looking this up. Um, no, I've literally, I've never heard oh, of that. It oh, here we go. Really weird. Hang on. Hello there, I'm Granny Goodwitch, the only human that in the forest. That seems really close. Right now, right now, here I come. I heard that. It's Sugar Bear, and he's after my sugar crisp again. Oh, oh why don't you just throw a log? Oh, he's coming. Where'll I hide my post-sugar crisp? It's a honey of a snack, you know. Better slow him up with my magic. I can't get him over that sugar crisp. Why is he just singing like... He's the strongest bear I've ever known. Gotta hide my post-sugar crisp. Oh, Oh. He just opened the safe. I know. <laughs> she didn't even lock the safe. It's sugar sweet and honey flavored wheat, so it keeps me going strong. Thanks, Granny. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. He could have gotten sugar crisp in post tens too. Post tens has all the cereals kids want. Yeah. Okay. So that's Sugar Bear, and he's a really old, like, commercial <laughs> cereal guy. An, uh, it's not even like. Like, I was thinking more like a Cocoa Puff situation where he was going to be, like, insane. But he just walked No, he's like, just like, can't get enough of that sugar crisp. <laughs> Keeps me going strong. Uh, Dude yeah. straight up, like, walks into her house. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, stop. Mm. What this lady wants is her sugar crisp. Man. Jordan says he has to find a quiet space. All right. A quiet place. Did you see that movie? I didn't. I it, really wish I did, though. I it, it was, was so it was good, but it could have been better. I feel like um, there was a lot of I've seen people point out a lot of things wrong with it that like I didn't even think about. It's just a little confusing sometimes. Like, why don't you just do that? <laughs> why don't you just do that? But like, it's a movie, so no one ever does what they're supposed to do. You know. I think from what I've like I've heard about it in the trailers I've seen, it was really impressive for someone like for John Krasinski to have. I believe he directed it and produced it, um, and starred in it. All like this was his first movie that he had ever like written on and done stuff with, and it was a horror movie. And apparently, he'd been like studying horror movies for months before. That seems crazy to me. Hey, what else is on this list? Coke or Pepsi? Oh, I skipped over Wyoming. Is it real? Absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, have you ever met anyone from Wyoming? Have you ever met anyone that's been to Wyoming? Have you ever met anyone that says they're going to Wyoming? Have you met anyone that's ever mentioned Wyoming casually in a conversation? <laughs> Absolutely not. Hey, you know Wyoming? No. <laughs> no, I don't know where that is. What are you talking Yeah, I mean, that? like, when kids are born, you have to teach them about Wyoming. Like, Immediately. Yeah, like, <laughs> parents tell their kids about Santa Claus, and, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> he's not real. Don't, don't say that. 
<laughs> and then parents also teach their kids about Wyoming. Now, um, also, all jokes aside, <laughs> Wyoming is real. I've literally never met anyone that's been there, what do you though. Mean? No, it's not. For the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wyoming definitely is real. <laughs> but, yeah, so... <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Um, I don't have a strong opinion on this, but I guess Pepsi. I think they they both kind of taste the same to me. The only person I know that drinks Pepsi is Tanya. Yeah. Because I remember I have that picture of her that's, like, really close up to her face, and the Pepsi's, like... On her yeah, face. That's like the Pepsi's on her drug. face. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ew. like her drug because she uh, <laughs> does she drink Pepsi that much? Uh, not as much anymore. But she'll like she was like I'm gonna drink water this week and then I'll come over and there's like a six pack of Pepsi in her fridge and she's like I caved. <laughs> I caved. I did it. I drank Pepsi. <laughs> no, it's uh, Pepsi's like not good though, right? For you or just in general? For you. Um, I don't think either one of them are good for you. I think you can dissolve a tooth in Coke. Well, I think Coke is better than it used to be. I don't know. I don't really drink. You used to have it. cocaine. Oh, well, yeah. Then, so, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's much better than it used to be. It's much worse than it used to be. It stinks now. <laughs> Back in my day. Um, okay. So, this is one that we were arguing about yesterday, but we wanted to save it. Is a belch a burp? Um, no, yeah. it definitely is. Apparent. How it's like different it's when, just a, a when it's a burp, like the gas is like coming up. What what is a belch? Does it go down? No, it doesn't go down. It just like rumbles. <laughs> no, a belch is just like a synonym for burp. Mm, I think you're wrong, but whatever. <laughs> I think I think you're wrong, but whatever. I think you're wrong. But whatever. No, it definitely is. Cameron has a phobia of burping. And any, yeah, I don't like, like burps. Burps are gross. But a belch is literally the exact same thing. I don't think so, but I mean, whatever. We're both entitled to our stupid opinions. All right, whatever. One may be more or less stupid than another. More or less stupid. <laughs> more or less stupid. How do you feel about those sugar cookies um, that come around in the... And, like, mostly the holiday season, they're the six-pack of sugar cookies. They have, like, the one colored frosting on top and the sprinkles on them. You know, the ones that are, like, really soft? Yes, those sugar cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do know those sugar cookies. Those sugar cookies are nasty. What? <laughs> that sounded so disgenuine. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so ungenuine. <laughs> they're nasty. What? <laughs> No, um, where did I... You, where do you even write that down? The very oh, we first skipped one <laughs> that you skipped. Oh, whoops. I like them. I think that there's either, like, there's no, like, spectrum on this. It's either you love them or you hate them. I think those sugar cookies are good, but if I have something else to eat that's better, I will take that over those. What would you take over these? I don't know, like... 20 bucks <laughs> to, what, to eat <laughs> <laughs> yeah you never had a good dollar bill well never had a 20 dollar bill oh that's for sure well i put one in the locker do you want oh. me to get it and we can like split it okay yeah we'll just pay her later <laughs> yeah um can we take a moment of silence for all the people taking their psats right now <laughs> Right, that's enough. Yeah, okay. Um, that's good. So, honorable mention to some of the names that we were going to name this podcast, but we didn't end up going Shana to Shana tweeted it. recently, my mom puts her arm out when we stop short in the car like it's going to save me. Why are you adding me? I don't know. She said it right now. Um... No, that my mom does do that. Like we stopped short, and she just put her <laughs> arm out over me. But like it was kind of a little late. My mom so says like, it's called the mom arm. Yeah, is that what it's? <laughs> I don't know. That's what that she said. I feel like if, well, I, I was gonna say I feel like if you look that up, but I'm not gonna look up mom arm. I'm gonna look up mom arm. All right. Well. Okay. Um. No, but she'll like she put her arm up, but just a little too late. So I'm like, I don't know what she like. So, it, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you put the arm You out. see that no one can see what you're Ooh. doing. Ur- does Urban Dictionary count as a definition? Uh, a little worried about that. I would say read it bef- in your head before. When you automatically throw your free arm across the body of the passenger in your car when you come to a quick, unexpected stop. Sorry about the mom arm. I didn't realize that J word, A word in front of us <laughs> was stopping so quick. J word, A word. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess I could have said Jack A word. Jack A I think we all know what you meant when you said J word A word. <laughs> J word A word. Sounds like some weird guy's name. That's my new name. When I become a rapper, that's going to be my name. J word A word. <laughs> oh my god, how long have we been going? It'll be like five minutes. Like, like... two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably like really loud in the mic. Probably. But I mean, you know, whatever. I love those um, YouTubers that are like, oh, comment right now where the. Hello? <laughs> Hello? AC? <laughs> nice of you to join us. How you doing today? <laughs> Live in the studio, our AC. <laughs> AC! <laughs> a-, a word, C word. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Uh, um, okay, you know what I don't like? What? I don't like when people are like, like my recent. Th- that's really annoying. Like and comment on my recent. Like, if I see it, then I'll like and comment it. Like and comment on it. But if you tell me to, I likely won't then. Yeah, I always feel like when people say like, like my post, I'll immediately not do it. But yeah, I know some people um, will immediately go and like it because they're loyal and they're good friends, but it doesn't seem like we are. Yeah. Hello, Jordan. Hello. Hello, guys. So we have Jordan Beck here today. Hi, how you doing? What's going on? How you doing today, Jordan? Man, I'm chilling. I'm, uh, I just got out of philosophy. Ooh. Early and, uh, morning, man. Yeah, it is. I got I got eight AMs every day. Yeah. Um I hope the microphone can hear you. We can't check from where we are, but it's we're holding you close to it, so it's probably good enough. Yeah, all right, I'll just speak up. So, how are you doing at school right now? Uh I'm doing pretty well. Uh you know. I was a pretty lazy uh procrastinator uh, in me high too. school. But I kinda find that College is kind of more geared to what I like. Yeah. A lot more of, like, assessing knowledge and stuff like that. And that's really what I'm into. Yeah. Uh, I don't really feel too overworked. Um, I kind of just, I don't know, I just, just do my thing. And it's, it seems to be working out pretty well so far. Yeah, and you go to Southern, right? Yeah. Yeah, how is it there? Yeah, so it's pretty nice. So I... um I was initially, uh, I was planning on going to UMass Amherst, and I figured, you know, I'll just take a, uh, a first year that's a little more affordable at Southern, and I think it was a pretty good move because, uh, you know, it's a pretty nice place, very nice community, and uh, I really love the team, and I'm seeing a lot of improvements all over. That's nice. And you're still pursuing sports? Yeah, so I'm on the track team right now, working with Decathlon. And so that's a lot of work. It's uh, really, really tough. It's a huge difficulty spike from high school athletics. You know, we'll, we'll be doing running exercises and workouts, and even the warm-ups are much longer. We'll be doing all that stuff for a long time, like Mondays and Fridays of vaulting, jumping, hurdling, and then you got to hit the weight room for two hours afterwards. Mm, but you enjoy so. it, though. Yeah, I'm having fun. It was it was it was really tough, but I find that every week, uh, you know, uh, I get more and more adjusted to what we do. You know, like this, we've had Sunday practices or no Saturday practices at eight a.m. Oof, wow. We usually do like we usually do like seven three hundreds, and you know, at a pretty quick pace. But it's kind of I don't know. It's, it's kind of just you just get to the point where it's like you know you just do it. You just kind of, like, shut out how your body's feeling, and you just kind of cruise through. Yeah, that makes sense. So what's your favorite part about college? 
My favorite part about college, uh, I'd have to say the uh, it's kind of a a new sense of independence. It's it's a whole different experience, and it's all you. And I feel like many people are kind of frightened by that, especially when you're in high school. You know, this this uh, you know it feels really unknown, uncertain, but it's very it's very welcoming. It's very you know it's it's a nice feeling to you know be your own person and to just rely on yourself and for the first time in your life in an environment that you know allows you to you know go to the wolves and work on your own for the first time but at the same time it's very controlled and they facilitate it for you to grow comfortably into an adult yeah <clears throat> that sounds really good and i know a lot of people who me and shana are friends with are getting ready for college and it's just a lot. What, was it? How was it for you, like preparing for college? Oh, you know me. I don't prepare for anything at all. I kind of <laughs> just jump in. <laughs> I, I had, I had no idea anything about this school at all. I wasn't even sure if there was dining halls or not. I had no idea what anything <laughs> was like. I just showed up. Yeah. I said, you know, hand me my diploma. <laughs> I'll figure it all out eventually. But, yeah. you know, and I'm meeting people. I know where buildings are, things to do. You know, I feel a lot more comfortable uh, where I am, which I probably, you know, probably would have been nice to do that sooner. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it sounds really like it's working out well for you, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, so now we're going to ask you um, your opinions on some of the things we've talked about so far on the podcast. And we'll start with, Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Absolutely not. Yes. No way. Yeah. I, I, I just can't get behind it. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. No comment. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, to each his own. Yeah. Um, Coke or Pepsi? Coke or Pepsi? Uh, I don't really drink either, but I guess I'd say Coke. Mm. Come on, yeah, I said Coke, too. <laughs> Shana <clears throat> said Pepsi. Um, Coke too, man. Yeah. Um, here's one that, like, I, we both have differing points on strongly. Dry cereal or cereal with milk? Uh, I am a huge milk enthusiast. <sighs> That's what I'm saying. I have all my cereal I think, dry. I think anything related to a cow is just, like, a plus me. I love cows. Yeah, I like dairy. <laughs> <laughs> I like dairy, but I just, I can't get behind milk in cereal. It doesn't do anything for me. It's... He eats mini wheats um, with just dry. That seems like a sin. <laughs> Frosted mini wheats are good though. I'm not saying Frosted they're mini wheats. You could definitely have alone. You don't yes. need for that. No, I, I feel mean like it makes it a lot better, but like <laughs> it's like they're the just salt, that good. It's like the saltine you know? of of cereal. <laughs> like I don't know how you would eat it dry without like choking. <laughs> <laughs> because like, what does the milk really add to it? Just like. It's just, sure. It's just like Why do you need moisture? <laughs> to be able to eat that. Mini wheats are like the driest substance on earth. <laughs> but they're good. Okay. Um, is there anything else on here? Do you like Taylor Swift or not? Uh, I can't say that I do very much in particular, but I guess I don't have enough of an expertise in that to you know, make a good judgment. Okay. <clears throat> we have two more. Uh, the Big Bang Theory. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, pretty good show. I'm not, uh, overly crazy about it. Um, I feel like lately, you know, or towards the end, there's a lot of redundancies and stuff like that. Yeah, well, but, you know. I feel the same way. Once a show has been going on for, like, that long, it's hard to, like, come up with stuff. Yeah, um, for sure. And our final thing, is Wyoming real or not? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I've never been there. Yeah, exactly. Guess, it's funny that you catch me after philosophy. That's a real big <laughs> philosophical have, question. You have, you ever, have you ever met anyone from Wyoming? <laughs> uh, I have, actually. Well, yeah. we've been proven wrong. Oh, man. <laughs> Are they a well-known <laughs> liar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 I 
I know a couple people from Wyoming. Yeah, they always wear uh, big trench coats and top hats. <laughs> okay. It's definitely <laughs> it just three. Like two guys standing <laughs> on each other's shoulders. It's, it's definitely just like three guinea pigs in a trench coat. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't know why I chose guinea pigs. They're very small. <laughs> it's like a bunch of ants crowded up into a big trench coat. Okay, well, it's been a pleasure having you on for the first episode, Jordan. Of course, man. And we'll try to keep in touch. All on this side of the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a good rest of your day and good luck in your sports. All right. Thank Talk you. Talk to you later. Have a good one, guys. Bye. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he feels the same way about people from Wyoming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people from Whoa, people, people from, from Wyoming. Wyoming. Watch, there'd be like people that have family in Wyoming. Yeah, who are people like, hey. from Wy- people from Wyoming are probably gonna. Wa- hey! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone starts commenting. I'm from Wyoming. <laughs> I'm from- oh my god! There's probably people from Wyoming what, listening to this. I'm gonna send this to someone from Wyoming. You just gotta. How are you gonna find someone from Wyoming? Um, Wyoming hotline. Omegle, oh, put in <laughs> Wyoming for your likes. No one comes up. <laughs> no one from Wyoming. Sorry, we can't Sorry, find can't anyone from know. Wyoming. Uh... I don't. I don't know. Sorry, it was Jordan texted me. Oh. Um. What's your favorite flavor of Snapple? Um, I think either Mango Madness or the Peach Tea. I've never had any sort of Snapple other than the half and half. No? No. We sell it at work, and I get it for free after a shift, so I always take Apparently, it. Apple Snapple is, like, sentient and can talk to you. It's so gross. Yeah? Is it because it can talk to you? I guess that probably takes some of the appeal out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know another one of the things I hate? What? I hate when people send their streaks of on Snapchat of them lip-singing to a song... And just like, no context, it's just them lip syncing to a song. Uh, yeah, that gets annoying. I wouldn't send it as my streaks. I would definitely not. Well, maybe I would, but I know if I did, then everyone would be like, what the heck? That's weird. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? That's weird. <laughs> um, this is one that I don't think that I've ever, like... I've never heard anyone say oh, that. Oh, the 1,000, than... 1,100? Yeah. I don't like when people say 1,000 instead of 1,000. Um, I've never heard that. I've only heard it after 10,000, or after, sorry, 1,000. 1,100? Like 11, um, 1, so, like, 1,100, 1,200. Like, I get that, but I, I've never heard anyone say 1,000. Like, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll go with 1,200. 1,200. Three syllables. 1,200. So it's half the syllables. Mm -hmm. You really don't have that much time to say double the syllables. You can't can't just say 1,200. It's easier to me. Yeah, but then you have have to think about it. You're like 1,200s. It's not 12,000, so the comma's not there. It's another spot to the... Sorry, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> but that's just annoying. I don't personally have an issue with that. Yeah. Can't relate. <laughs> Hashtag cannot relate. Oh, yeah. Also, shout out to my friend Patrick Karen. His birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. I have a, a Kinder Joy egg toy for you. Not the chocolate. I ate that. I have the toy. <laughs> you didn't get him another one? Not yet. <laughs> just, just the toy. That's it. It's a race car. Did have you ever have, like, the Kinder room. Surprise Egg? No, aren't those illegal? Yeah, but Kristen's family brought them from the Philippines, and I had one. Oh, is that the one that you had the other day? Is that what that was? Yeah. Oh. Cool. It was... It didn't... It started out, like, I didn't... Because it's... I think it's chocolate. A chocolate... Or I think it's a vanilla shell with a chocolate shell over it. Um, so I didn't ex- white chocolate. I, oh, it's white chocolate? That's what I think. I don't know. I didn't sure. expect, like, both the flavors. So it started out being, like, tasting really weird. But then once I realized white chocolate was there, too, I was like, oh, that's what that flavor is. 
Yeah. I mean, like, I kind of saw that as soon as it cracked open that there was, like, a white... Was it on the inside, the white chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, so there was white chocolate on the inside, which I disagree with. I don't like white chocolate. No. I had, uh, Like white... Oh, yeah, you don't. you don't like white chocolate, but you like dark chocolate. Yeah. I don't like dark chocolate, but I like white chocolate. I feel like white chocolate just tastes, like, really weird to me and it's not chocolate like it's if it's it's fine if you label it as something else but it's not chocolate That's, what do you mean it's not chocolate it's not chocolate it is chocolate there's no cocoa in it yeah but it's chocolate not in my book okay well let's see what the google machine says <laughs> the google machine yeah um shout out technical difficulties <laughs> um is white Chocolate well, it's gonna really say. chocolate. <laughs> the chairs. I, I wonder if the microphone could hear that. <laughs> the chairs definitely need some WD forty. That was Shayna's chair squeaking as she turned in it. It commonly consists of cocoa butter, sugar, and milk solids and is characterized milk by solids. a pale yellow or ivory appearance. The melting point of cocoa butter, white chocolate's only cocoa bean component. Sorry, I lost my place. Is high enough to keep white chocolate solid at room temperature, just like milk chocolate or dark chocolate. Now, dark chocolate, I don't like. Um, yeah. I like it a lot. I didn't before, <clears throat> but I don't know what f like sort of taste it has, but it just is not good. Is it bitter? Yeah. I don't like bitter. Um, do you want to hear the meanest thing that a teacher's ever done to, a t like, a group of students? What? <laughs> so, like, in, I think, like, second grade, I had this teacher, and she was like, okay, today we're going to be eating chocolate. And everyone flipped out. We were like, oh, my God, yes. We were so excited. Uh, and then, so she gave us all chocolate, and she's like, all right, no one eat it yet. Leave it on your desk. And then, so we were like, all right. And uh, she was like, this doesn't have any sugar in it. She's like, it's bitter chocolate. And we were like, all right, whatever. And we ate it, and it tasted like ink. And Ew. we all like ran to the trash can to spit out. We're like second graders, and she promised us chocolate Ew. and gave us this. Oh, and gross. I don't even remember what lesson she was trying to teach, but like in hindsight, it's really, really funny that she did that. But don't like... take chocolate from anyone, because it could be bad chocolate. <laughs> that's, the, that's the lesson. That's the moral. Um, but no, I just, I don't even know what she was trying to teach, but it was really funny because her and the para were like cracking up, like, <laughs> they just thought no. it was so funny. Okay, I well, I, I'd say that's all the time we have for this podcast today because it's been a really long time. Alright. So, uh, thanks everybody for listening, tuning in, however you're listening to this. Hopefully it gets uploaded to YouTube, I'm not sure. Uh, some recognition to uh, our cover photo artist, Lola. You did oh, an yeah. amazing job. Lola Hazarika, thank you so much for the picture that we have. You can see it if you, like, you know, look at your screen. phone, computer, screen, whatever right now. Uh, it's currently my screensaver because I love it so much. Thank you so much, Lola. I love it a lot. <laughs> uh, and I think before we actually end this, we should say some of our honorable mention oh, titles yeah. for the podcast. I forgot to say that part. So, <laughs> so some we took polls on Twitter and Instagram to come down to one title that we had. Uh, some of the possibilities we had were the podcast, the podcast, uh, anything goes, what's up, uh, Weekly Buzz. Mm, that was a good one. That's uh, so random. <laughs> a Jeff from church. Oh, yeah, Jeff uh, from church, Jeff's car. <laughs> and uh, so we ended up <clears throat> choosing subject matters. Yeah, so. I think that was a good one. Yeah. So if you have anything that you want us to talk about or address in the next episode, then uh, either talk to us or message us or leave your comments, and we'll try to get to them in the next episode. So, talk to you later, everyone. Bye. Bye.